Welcome to One Message in a Bottle Tarot. My name is One and I'm your spiritual advisor. Welcome back all my beautiful messengers. Thank you so much for all of your support and showing up for me. I really appreciate it. You choosing me because I choose you every motherfucking day. Yes. Uh, I might hit something to get a little bit relaxed. It's almost 3 o'clock in the morning. All right. It ain't been a day, but it's been a day, okay? We are rounding out your June jump offs, finally. Virgo, we here, bitch, okay? Let's keep it cute, because we tired, all right? Take it nice and easy, all right? Right, uh, it's May 2021, summer's almost here. We don't want to waste no time, play no games, so we're going to find out if you're making up or breaking up, all right? So it's Virgo, check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Um, also, uh, your cross-watcher energy, apply as it resonates, if it doesn't resonate, because of course, I can't see into the whole fucking galaxy, or can I? <laughs> okay. Um, just enjoy it, all right? Just enjoy it. Just like you would anything else you entertain to relax. Okay? Now. Uh, last one out. Last train to Paris, motherfucker. <laughs> We're doing the Golden Girls Tarot. I truly enjoyed uh, this fucking deck. It was definitely one of my favorite shows growing up. And it's, it's just like shit. It's been given what it's supposed to give. So, as a last sign up, we're going to do it like we did all the other 12s. Uh, maybe a little bit bluesy or something. Because, uh, bitch, anybody trying to yell right now? I don't know how I'm going to do this, but. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. You didn't believe that shit, did you? I ain't either, right? Anyway, next. Nah, no, for real. I, you know what? It is what it is. Let's hop into it and see uh, what it's going to be and what it ain't. Back down. Okay, look, I promise. If you go, if you go back watch all the other ones, it was fine. But we is, we at 12 now. And yeah. One time for the 12. Okay. Making up or breaking up. Break up. I don't know what song that is on the radio. Hmm. Okay. What we doing for June? Jump off. Why did I say it was May 2020? What the fuck was I talking about? I don't know. Well, something must have happened. <laughs> All right. So we got the world card. That's self-explanatory. Definite ending of something, okay? And it's an ending so you could really, uh, I feel like just in this picture, you know, after so much, um, going through so many things, this is, uh, Dorothy kind of had to stand in her own power and take her, you know, uh, own power back, kind of, uh, own her world, right? Look at that. It's like she's got a firm grip on it. She's cool with everything, uh, how it is. Jordy, uh, who is Jordy? Why did I say Jordy? Um, Dorothy <laughs> Ooh, child. was a straight shooter, okay? So by the time she, you know, she just tell, tell it like it is and, uh, no, no, no bullshit, straight chaser, okay? So, yes, uh, I feel like there is a transitioning or ending happening in your world or your cross watchers. And I feel like uh, at the end of the day, I get the inkling that everybody going to be okay with it. All right. Like I just heard it's time. Okay. Yep. I got the two of wands. Oh, okay. I mean, I can fuck with it. All right. So we have the uh, two of wands here. Uh, that is a decision that has been made. I feel like uh, somebody has, you have decided that, um, 
I don't know, like somebody is your world. Because look, we have Dorothy and then we have um, the mother here. I feel like um, there's an ultimatum being made here. Okay. Um, a decision. You know, we all like to go to our mama for decisions and stuff like that. You know, maybe they gave you some clarity or something like that. That helped you here. Uh, King of Cups. All right. So this is a uh, heart overhead decision is what I just heard. All right. Did I say Six of Cups or the King of Cups? Child, look. Somebody can't get their uh, stuff together. <laughs> you know, that kind of uh, sweet on you where you fumble over your words and shit like that. Like, that's cute. You, know, you don't even know what you say. You just be kind of kicking your feet in the dirt like, damn, you know. But it's a cool, you know, type energy. Yeah. Um, but I'm feeling like this decision was a, um, you know, King of Cups uh, unevolved can be unemotional and, um, you know, all over the place, but this energy here, uh, definitely, you know, he's made a choice. I forgot homeboy name on Golden Girls. Put it in the comments, okay? Here, but, um, this is a man that knew what he was doing. You know, he was for sure, I think, you know what I mean? Um, so present, very present in, uh, their emotions, all right? And then we have the, yeah, Six of Cups. I just heard you the one. But around, I was thinking, you the one, the man that came out of the air. Because you the one, no, 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 Because you the one, your love is my love. Dun, 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 dun. That's what I heard. Okay. Well, it is the season. Uh, Yeah, somebody's. You're going for a Virgo or your person is going uh, to you. Um, the chariot energy here. Okay. That's the overall. Here. So let's find out what is ending. What's ending? What is this world card? Indecisions. Uh, disappointment. Focusing on the wrong thing here. Confusion, being in your mind, stewing, stooping. Uh, look at this. Um, uh, definitely looks like a missed opportunity here. Maybe focused on other things instead of what's kind of in front of you. And maybe it's a decision to not do that anymore. Okay. I hear a lot of, um, of regrets, stewing over regrets here. If it's the end of that, um, definitely time to let some things go here. Kind of look at it, address the situation, and then turn your you know, head and see what the divine is offering you here. It's a new beginning with this ending here. Um, all right, so we have King of Wands. So this is your energy, Virgo, here. Okay. Is, is he the same man? I look, I gotta make sure she is. Nope, it's two different masculines. Okay. Alright, but it looks like you have definitely um made a decision to move forward. Um investing in some type of reunion here. Alright. Maybe getting advice for someone uh, helped you. Yeah, it looks like it. Queen of Wands here. Look at that. Um, this is crowning this King of Cups here. Hmm. I feel like you're going to make an offer for some... Um, the six of cups here. Maybe you know you have competition or something. I mean, it's it's too. On one hand, um, I feel like you're definitely going back to um, invest, you know, in a relationship in the past. Offer your love, uh, extend your cup. This is someone you have uh, a lot of passion for. With the queen, uh, with the queen of wands here, you finally made a decision to uh, come forward and do that. On the other hand, I do feel like. You uh, are aware that you aren't the only 
option here, okay, with the two of wands and the decision that needs to be uh, made here. I only say that because these are two very different masculines in this, in this picture here, okay? But I feel like somebody's made a decision to definitely... Um, You know, like, I feel like that's your person. You know what I mean? This queen of wands. You know, you've made a decision to do things to the, you know, that's the one you want to go to the end of time with. Um, but there's also some missed opportunity here that um, this uh, king of cups is looking back on. Okay. Somebody else may be in another commitment, but also uh, looking to do a reunion here. All right. Yeah, it's two masculines. Or you and somebody else, however this applies, okay? Um, headed out to see somebody, child. <laughs> okay. Uh, here. Uh, the wheel, uh, may, may the odds be in your favor. That's the wheel here, okay? Because I feel like after some time, you've recognized that someone is a star um, here. Um Yeah, I feel like you're uh, fully invested watering and planting um, the seeds here. All right. You see something passionate, glorious here. Uh, it's a secret, though. It's a secret, though. What is the secret? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're hoping to uh, build something new here. With the will of fortune, you want the odds to be in your favor. Uh, you may be keeping it a secret from this person, how you feel about them, all right, or uh, your intentions on moving towards them. But I think it, I think you know that uh, you aren't the only one moving towards them. Look at that. The sun is here. All right, Virgo. So either for you or your cross watcher here, um, there's definite fire energy here. Earth energy, water, a little bit of air with that star card. Yeah, the sun. I don't know. I kind of get like lighthouse, uh, lighthouse type energy. Um, I get the energy of like to, uh, a secret admirer or something like that. Okay, if somebody has for you, and vice versa. What is this world card in this four of cups? Maybe you got advice, uh, this King of Pentacles from someone that helped you make a decision to move forward. Maybe that somebody been talking today. Uh, somebody's been talking to their L. Uh, some I feel like, yeah, I feel like somebody has been talking to their elders or uh, angel spirits, guides, or something like that. They've been like, look, you need to get this together here uh, and make some right here. Because this ain't, it's, this is a nine of swords crowning this, all right? You're in your head about something, okay? We should bear in mind that in general, it is the object of, it is the object of our newspapers rather to create a sensation, to make a point than to further the cause of the truth, okay? Yeah, I, uh... I definitely feel like you're uh, either you're getting advice, you and this other person getting advice on how to move forward uh, to uh, make some sort of reunion or reconciliation here. Jack of Wands, Knight of Wands. My bad. It's in reverse. Why is it in reverse? On the account of stupidity of some people, or if talent be more respectable word on account of their own talent a misconception. Yeah, some you may want to uh, come through and have this um, reunion possibly with this uh, this star seed here representing the star um, or Leo, somebody with the fire sign uh, to clear up some misconception or maybe a stupid decision that was made in the past here. With this two of wands, and you want to clear something, uh, clear something up. A lot of knights. You're coming in as a knight. Both of these, um, 
Virgo, uh, both of these people coming in, I mean, they're kings, but they communicate in childish uh, ways, juvenile ways. They're both showing up as knights. And, uh, okay. Here's the Knight of Pentacles. This other, this water sign just took their time. Okay. Um, never to suffer what, what never to have been blessed here. All right. So again, as I said, I feel like this water sign is definitely emotionally, um, present in this relationship not relationship but this connection or whatever um they may also be connected with a uh fire sign also okay um two of pentacles so there is a hmm oh That wheel and six of cups. There's two of pentacles. Evil is a consequence of good. So, in fact, out of joy is sorrow born here. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know um, what was done. Because if there is a separation, then there's definitely a need for a reconciliation. It's the cause of the separation um, here. Uh, so either on one hand, the way you present your case, Virgo or cross watcher is, um, all for the, all for the better good or, or something like that. You know, you, you, you go through shit and then it all turns out better for you. I, I don't know. <laughs> Again, I feel like a couple of people, you and another person or vice versa, somebody trying to get their shit together to mansplain uh, some shit and make it seem like oh it's like uh, I don't know it sounds very moving on <laughs> I'm saying because the evil is on the we uh the two of pinnacles and um it's on this wheel of fortune here uh with this six of cups it's almost like somebody got a game or a betting game going on on who's going to get this uh, this person or your person or, or maybe you and this other person are uh, in cahoots here because one is showing up as a nine a knight of wands so this basically there to kind of fuck you in a way and then the other is like I I don't know it's like the baiting it's it's the baiting I feel like a bait and switch uh, energy here um what is this eight of cups. Yeah, somebody out. <laughs> Quaff the raven, never more. Yeah, never. Ne uh -uh. Um, I don't know. I feel like I, this is too messy. I'm ready to go already, child. I can't. <laughs> I can't. It, it really looks like two friends got together to screw over some feminine or something, play some kind of games, and that's gonna that's my that's gonna be revealed, and they're gonna end up losing this person. Eight of Cups, uh, Raven, Nevermore, a uh, uh, period. Like, what is this chariot? One of y'all did something. The other one did something. Two of Pentacles. This person ain't finna juggle, y'all. This Eight of Cups, your uh, your person is out, Virgo. I don't know what's going on. If you think there's a competition, you know they're like this person. I get the idea after so much was revealed. You know all these. See, this this star is gone because of whatever is hidden behind this moon. Okay, what is this moon? Point blank. Period. This uh, this star, this air energy, uh, Aquarius, I believe. Yeah, they're not emotionally invested. They've come to some sort of truth. King of Cups, uh, King of Cups, five of uh, Cups clarifies. So you, uh, water sign, you done broke a heart. She ain't fucking with you. Uh, three of Cups, or they ain't fucking with you. Okay, three of Swords. Uh. Ace of Cups, yeah, somebody took somebody else's kindness for weakness, um, and caused a fight here. I don't, I don't, y'all, like, uh, somebody is playing game. I don't know if you and your person, you and your friend, or some got together. Somebody got to, two, uh, 
masculine is what it looks like here for this type, for this reading. Look like they got together for some fuckery against a, uh, another person. And both of uh, both of y'all, it's like you look at it after the fact. And I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Uh, the absolute truth is y'all fucked over a good person here. That's the honest to God truth. Ace of Swords, uh, the moon here, and you realize it after uh, after the fact. Whoever this was. Uh, this five of uh, swords here tells me that there was uh, manipulation and deceit and infighting and uh, disappointment. Like, it, but with these spades, it's like it was purposely done. That's the absolute truth. And somebody walked away broken hearted here uh, with this three of swords and this betrayal, or or it will. And there was genuine love here because the ace of cups is on the board and it's like this is genuine fucking love genuine new beginnings and uh y'all fuck somebody uh period and it, it changed everything it changed everything nobody wins when the fucking family feuds uh period uh virgo cross watcher queen of swords man's man's real life is happy chiefly because he is ever expecting that it will soon be so good thing Oh, gonna seem to go that you don't know what you've got to lose. Gone. Yeah, chariot. They out. Uh, this son, this person is chasing happiness here. Uh, there's still some bitterness. Uh, well, well, I wouldn't say. Well, I mean, fuck. I guess I fuck. You be bitter too. People was playing games. I mean, people. That's the problem with society. It's not cute. Play with people. Play with hard. Play with especially good people because them motherfuckers ain't just. Uh, they don't come up to your door like the damn Sunday newspaper. You know what I mean? Like, this is unfortunate, but I feel like your person is moving forward uh, all the wiser uh, here. Y'all still coming, though. I don't think y'all, you know, this person over here is minding their business. But again, with the Queen of Swords, you know, that sword is up um, here. Y'all coming, though. This is Chariot. What is this uh, Ace of Swords, the moon part? What is this hidden truth here? Yeah, y'all ain't shit. Five of Wands. From childhood's hour, I have not been as others were. I have not seen as others saw. I could not bring my passions from common spring. Came, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to try to make some excuses about why you did what you did. There is no explanation for whatever was done here. Okay, um, you can't blame it on your childhood um, because y'all grown ass men uh, or, or vice versa. Have we ain't got to that reading yet? Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> okay, no, but there's um, again Virgo or your cross watcher here, or even if you're all in one, I don't know, but you know, you too grown to be acting like this again, showing up as king, king of pentacles, king of cups, but still in behavior, thought, deed, and all of that. You're nice, childish, childish as fuck, and then fuck up something that could have been really amazing. Looks like to me, I mean, shit. Dorothy, I mean, not Dorothy. Um, what the hell was her girl name? Rose. She was slow, but she wasn't that much. You know what I mean? She always still came out on top here. You know? Like, for real. And some stuff, she was slow, but she was slow in her innocence. Like, for real. You know what I mean? Like, that was the quirky thing about it. It's like, people would shake their head like, damn, did she really, you know? But it was an innocence about it. It was a wonder. It was a childlike joy like she never lost that that optimism that seemed the bit you know what i mean and like it's fucked up when you realize like damn no this you know like <laughs> that's unfortunate what's the overall energy i'm getting up out of here there i go that's unfortunate somebody lost a really good thing or some or somebody played some games and and it sounded like a friendship or uh, something like that buddy but i don't know who knew who or whatever but it's like two people got together and did some uh fuck shit and really screwed over um a feminine or maybe you're masculine and maybe their friend or something like that uh got him to play games or, or talked him out of a good thing when he had a good thing with you and maybe your masculine's coming back 
You know, maybe he's going to get his friend to apologize. I, I don't know, but I just know somebody got playing out of a really good connection here and it caused a bunch of confusion and there's a bunch of fighting and there's so much to the, to the forefront. But um, I don't think this part, yeah, bitch, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Separation. Well, separation. This page of one is on the bottom of the deck too. It's on the bottom of this deck. Yeah, eight of pentacles. Uh somebody, yeah. Somebody wants to <laughs> somebody wants you to keep an open mind. Uh, cause they still have feelings and all that. If you're a religious person, they might try to use that against you or use that on you to like plead their case or not. Like, uh, don't don't let nobody uh, use your heart or you know what I mean. Like, you know what I'm saying. I don't know. Like I said, um, they come in as uh, kings, but they got the heart of a knight. So good, you know. Don't let nobody play with the okie doke. Whoever Virgo, vice versa, somebody else, some bullshit. Uh, I'm glad this series is over. Listen, I love y'all with the highest love one.